I think movies tell us something about ourselves and about others that I've never really seen anything else that has taught me as much about myself or about other people as, as films. This is a very long, this is the long scene from the film that takes place in a diner. My name is Matthew Rivera. Um, I'm in the class of 2018. I'm an English major with a concentration in anthropology and uh, I'm also a filmmaker. Uh, I became interested in making films when uh, I was in middle school and I had a very good teacher who um, started talking about animation and there was something that just seemed fascinating about it to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Stanley Kubrick, Akira Kurosawa, uh, Ingmar Bergman. What about Woody Allen? What? Well, I chose Columbia because I thought I would be studying film at first or if it was one of the options. I thought either film or English. I suppose the question of why I'm not a film major is best answered with why I am an English major or an anthropology major, which is just, I suppose that they're both a little bit more broad than uh, film, and I just want to study um, people. Here's a shot, here's a sequence in the film that pretty much made it as I drew it. So that's the shot with the truck. Uh, I make short films um, that usually run anywhere between uh, maybe 8 minutes and uh, 25 minutes and I think of them as um, either a short story in some sense or right now I'm making a, a kind of a series that doesn't necessarily have any um, connection from one to the next besides involving the same characters. Oh, this is more conceptual. I never really went anywhere. And actually what I was trying to do with that, I might have a, well, I don't know. Uh, what I was trying to do with this was uh, just something that, actually the shot did make it into the film. My last movie, um, Vacancy in the Night, was the first chapter in this series of which Sundown at the Crossroads, the Western, is the next one. And I particularly um, try to choose these pulpy titles for them that just have a dime store novel sound. I don't know if film is better than digital. I just like it more. I think it works better for us. I've never really opened up raw negative before, and I don't know if that's a good idea, but I mean, here's some couple strands. I think, um, I mean, there's a whole process to it. What is that? It's, it's just harder to get a really beautiful image for me on digital. You have to be far more precise about uh, lighting and about, you know, your color temperature and all these things. Well, we do the whole thing. We write it. Well, first we dream it, and then we write it, and then we you know, figure out what it's going to take to to do it, um, which often means uh, scraping up the money from somewhere. And um, fortunately, over the years, we've, you know, found a few benefactors. Well, I just make one movie at a time, and I think I want to keep making them, um, no matter, you know, what I have to do to make money and hopefully those two um, goals, one of which is a necessity and the other one of which is a, a fantasy, um, can line up at some point.